now that the holes are marked and center punched, it's time to drill them. You really shouldn't do this without a drill press, so try to find somebody that has one if you don't. Uh, this one was actually a freebie from someone. It's just a crappy little drill press, but it works just fine for all the things I need to do. I'm using an eighth inch drill bit for these pilot holes. They will eventually become 3 eighths inch uh, in diameter. This takes a little while, so I'm going to skip ahead. After the pilot holes are drilled, it's time to move on to the 3 8 inch holes. I find it helpful, at least with this little drill press, to use some cutting fluid. Uh, cuts nice and smooth, leaves a nice finish. After you're done drilling the holes, you want to give this thing another good wipe down. After all the holes are drilled, it's nice to go and finish everything off, uh, deburr with a countersink. This is a 5 8 inch Irwin countersink. Um, it's checked up in my drill and on low. It doesn't take much and uh, ends up looking really nice. It doesn't take long to do them all. And once I'm done, I'll give the whole thing a, another wipe down. Once they're all cleaned up, the ways are ready for mounting. It takes 22 T-nuts. You can see I've already got them in there, uh, 11 on each side. And just spend, just takes a little time to line them all up. I'm going to fast forward through here a little bit. Now that the ways are attached to the frame, we need to align things. The ways overhang the extrusion by about half an inch. So I'm going to set my dial calipers to half an inch and lock the set screw down. Then I'll measure front and back, left and right, to make sure the overhang is the same on each side. It may be different by a few thousandths. You may have to adjust your caliper to make sure that that's even. Uh, this just takes a little time. Once I've got things close, I'll tighten down one of the bolts on one end, just sort of finger tight, and go to the other end and do the same thing. And it's a lot of back and forth. Might have to go back and redo a step, but it takes a little bit of checking, checking, and then uh, a little tightening and retightening. Make sure you get it right. Once you're confident things are aligned, it's time to tighten down the whole bed. Uh, loosen up those ones on the end, and this is kind of an important detail. You want to start in the middle and work your way out, and this will help um, alleviate any bow that may be in the material. I haven't really ever had a problem, but um, you know, if things were tight on the ends and I were to work on the ends and, and work my way in, you could potentially put a bow into your into your ways. So um, start in the middle, work your way out. This is the last step. Once you've got everything tightened down and you go back and check your work, congratulations, you're done with the ways.